Hello everyone, this is Angeline again for another vlog Cause this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad in it It's a very 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 special day. It's because it's my little sister's birthday. Yeah! Angela, 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 Angela is celebrating her 18th birthday today. Yeah, she's a lady now. Oh, time flies. She was just a little kid just running in the streets with, you know, because in the so today is her birthday and I decided to make a pastry for her. Yeah, last time I baked a cake for my ate, but this time I'm going to bake a pastry and watch out till the end because I'm going to have a surprise. So join me in baking this pastry for my little sister's birthday! Yay! So, Mrs. Claus is ready before I started filming. These are all the ingredients I'm going to use. Everything is measured in accordance to my recipe. And for today, it is an apple cinnamon roll. So, let's start. Let's start. Let's start. So, I'm just going to focus the camera on the ingredients and we're going to start mixing now. We're going to start with a warm milk. 240 ml of milk should be warm. And then you can put your sugar, 135 grams of sugar. And then your yeast, 2 tablespoons of yeast. And let it rest until it got bubble. So from there we're going to add our butter. This should be a soft butter. It's a one half cup of butter. And then your two eggs. Two eggs. And then mix them up. And then after that, the flour. Four and one half cup of flour. mix that up. We have to put the salt, just one half teaspoon of salt to get the right balance of your of the flavor. So mix that up. Right after mixing everything, you have to nod it with additional flour and you can just use your table. Just make sure everything is clean on the table for good sanitation. So then we will not our dough. So we just nod it. Just nod it, nod it, nod it until you feel like it's bouncing back, something like that. Another disclaimer I'm not a pro baker, pro chef. I'm just baking according to my research experimentation so yeah so when it is done just round it a little bit like that we didn't want to over nod it so it's 
So yeah, we can put it now back on our mixing bowl and let it sit for like 30 minutes maybe until it gets rice. You need to cover it uh, to any cling wrap or a uh, wet towel. So yeah, we are done doing our dough, nodding our dough. We'll just wait for it to rise. And now we're going to prepare our apple toppings on our cinnamon roll. We're going to just caramelize this apple. Take a look at it later. See ya. Sugar. So once it's caramelized already, you have to put your one in one half cup of butter. Just Careful. And then, once done, we'll put our apple. Once your apple caramelized, you just have to lay it down to this baking tray. So there you go, our apple caramel is ready. This is the toppings of our cinnamon roll. So. We just have to spread our dough now. I think it's ready, so stay tuned. So the dough is ready. It was recent double. Now it's time to roll up with a rolling pin. cinnamon powder it was just like that before putting your cinnamon you have to put the butter on the dough just like this
thread or a floss to cut it out. some time I think our cinnamon is ready <music> delivery cinnamon we just have to flip it up so that you will see the apple cinnamon toppings on it ready a one a two a one a two a three a <laughs> Did I do it right? Just take a look how beautiful it is, guys. Happy birthday, my dear sister. I love you. I miss you. Blow your candle. Make a wish. Happy birthday. Just keep on watching. This is not yet the end of my video. I just made this 18 apple cinnamon to share it to 18 random people. So, see you on the part two.